Hello again, everyone. Welcome back to Stellaris. We are playing as Restored Quirky and League, and uh, we are in multiple wars. It's it's good times, and by good times, I mean absolutely not. Um, let's see. The Fotessians and the Zenek Architects are doing some fighting up here against the Corinth Zealots, so that's good. Um, but uh, it's... Gonna be a while before we can do anything against the Vion directors, I feel like. Anyway, let's go ahead and get back into it. Science ship under fire. Oh, you son of a... Just instantly killed him. Alright. Alright, that's the way you want to be. Let's get a science ship at the end there. Alright, you guys, 2360, it's going to be a little while before you guys come back, unfortunately. You are going over there, it's going to be a while. Alright, you've been fully repaired, but now you need to upgrade. are actually upgrading some, so that's good. Yeah, they're going to take that back. Technology discovered. Okay, impulse thrusters. Neutronium armor. Technology discovered. All right, Ministry of Production. Uh, I think I think Fleet Command Limit is going to be the best thing right now. Ah, oh, jeez, why are you all the way back there? I need Edamar. Uh, can I jump you guys to a gateway? I don't think so. Well, that's not ideal, although I could jump over here. That's almost at a gateway. Okay, the Retrax Domain. Continued excavation near the Hunting Lodge have provided more details. Boro Baba Prime and the Valley of Mockvale, specifically, served as a hunting reserve for the ruling warrior class of an interstellar polity known as the Retorax Domain. The Retorax, a predatory avian species, periodically collected random individuals from the many subjugated alien civilizations under their rule. These aliens were then hunted down and killed in the wilderness of Mockvale, according to the rituals that governed Retorax society. This tradition lasted several centuries until the domain eventually succumbed to an undefined outside threat. Alright. Okay, please come over here. Zaffa system. Oh, I think they actually built that, rather than repairing it. So they've taken Yidixa. They're going to take that and then eventually come into that system. And we've got a new uh, thing in here, natural sanctuaries. We should preserve natural spaces as parks where citizens can escape from their troubles. Minor restrictions to heavy industry industry are required, but it's a low price to pay. So diplomatic weight from economy, minus 40%, clear blocker time, plus 25%, planet build speed, minus 5%, pop amenities usage, minus 5%, pop consumer goods upkeep, minus 5%. That is all good. I fully support this. Fully, fully support this.
Yeah, they're there. They've taken all of this. The enemy has made landfall. All right, they're taking that back. I mean, if I could just be done with this the war right now, I'd be our colony. pretty happy, <laughs> to be honest. So are the Mirans showing up now? They are! Alright, I've finally colonized the appropriate planet. Uh, we will go ahead and uplift them. They have a Tomb World Habitability. Weird. Okay. Let's get you over there just in case they do come through here. I don't think it's too likely, but... Good lord, you guys are slow. Maybe I keep pausing it, I don't know. I did build more things for consumer goods. Uh, it's going to take a little while to Custom actually fleet encountered. get them... Yeah, I have no idea where you're actually going at this point. Construction complete. Presentients now walk their world as equals. Alright, the Mirren are now sapient and fairly intelligent at that. They and their home planet, Dressel Prime, now fall under the domain of Dominion of the Restored Quirkian League. We shall welcome them. Uh, let's get you... I mean, honestly, that would be a decent spot. Get you back there. Get we in Kirbus. Lift up follow-up, and then Mirren have been among us several days now, all is well, on planet Dressel Prime. Okay, let's go ahead and repair. And actually, just go ahead and upgrade each of you. Okay, uh, you need fewer of those. And more of these. And the second Bion. Fewer cruisers. More battleships. Alright. I'll do some upgrades once... I mean, uh, I'll do some filling out of the... Uh, Why can I reinforce you? Uh, according to reports, the newly uplifted Mirren citizens on Dressel Prime grow anxious as their quirky and leader teachers bring up the likelihood of contact with as yet unknown entities from the far reaches of space. Um, yeah, they can get Xenophile. That's fine with me. Ships upgraded. All right, so uh. Go ahead and upgrade again, I guess? Why is it saying that I can reinforce you? Uh, 
Alright, because of that. It's bugged out. I gotta... I gotta make a new fleet. Once they're fully upgraded, then I'll... I'll do that, though. I just need this war to end. Alright, hyper shields. I guess we're upgrading again. I'm just gonna get this to get it out of there. It's only nine months at this point. I don't want it showing up anymore. It's rare tech, and yet it keeps coming up. Alright. Uh, fossilized remains. The Huntress. Archaeologists excavating the hunting lodge have stumbled upon several references to a legendary Retorax warrior known as a Huntress. She was apparently their most efficient killer, renowned throughout the domain for having personally butchered thousands of aliens at Macvale. It is unclear whether it is, this is based on fact or fiction, but according to Retorax legend, the Huntress was killed somewhere inside the valley when she was outwitted by the alien prey she was pursuing. She was supposedly wielding the fabled Blade of the Huntress at the time. Curious. Okay, uh, Uplifting, I forgot, gives you influence. It doesn't actually tell... I don't think it tells you anywhere that you get influence out of it, but you do. You get a lot of influence. So, um, that's why we're at 800 there. This is a good time to do this. Reform government. Um, with the unity, Byzantine bureau bureaucracy. Citizen service. Cutthroat politics, diplomatic core. Uh, kind of tempted for that. Distinguished admiralty. Efficient bureaucracy, administrative capacity plus 10%. I don't know that that matters at this point. <laughs> it's so far down. Uh, do, do, do. Okay. Nothing's really grabbing me. Um, I mean, pop consumer goods upkeep minus 10% would help with that right now. That would be, what, a reduction in 60? Yeah, that would be pretty good. On the other hand, administrative capacity plus 10%. Well, that would be on top of all of uh, that. So that's actually, that actually might not be a bad thing. Um, that'd get us another 100 or so. Yeah, let's actually do that. We can always uh, do that later, you know, alter that later. If we feel we need to. Um, and with the rest of this... do Mastery of Nature. And then I'll turn it into an Ecumenopolis. Finally. Uh, looking inwards, a statistically significant group of Miran citizens appear unsatisfied with our teachings on the nature of the cosmos. An unknown individual or group among them is circulating some spurious codex that attaches undue importance to the Miran and their uplifting by the restored Quirky and League. Spiritualist, materialist, nothing will come of it. Uh, sentient a uh, sapient AI assistant, research speed plus 10%, survey speed plus 20%, anomaly research speed plus 30%, 
That's a pretty good one. Go over here. Enemy troops on our soil. All right, which planet is that? Fagan the Jihad. That's over there. But again, I don't think they have uh, a claim there. Oh wow, they've uh, they worked their way all the way up there. Hmm. Why is it? Uh, why is it these guys? Do they have a claim? No. The enemy has seized our colony. I don't know. I do not know. Colony founded. Love that I'm still fi founding colonies. Uh, fleet command limit plus 20% is great. Let's get another fleet command limit plus 20%. Do that. Uh, that's paused. It still has uh, a lot of time left on it, so I'm not too worried about that at the moment. And with all of those minerals, let's go ahead and see about building some stuff. Not a whole lot else is grabbing me. Um, let's go with synthetic crystal plants. Get that upgrade. Mode harvesting traps. Gene clinic. And let's go ahead and clear all of those. That's engineering jobs, but I don't mind getting some of those. My energy credit usage is fluctuating pretty wildly at this point for some reason. I mean, obviously I'm in a war and that does stuff like that, but uh, not sure exactly on the other... I mean, like, yeah, I don't need those. No, no, I, just demolish, not repair. Wait for that one to repair. Get a few more of those going. I'd sell some minerals next time, I suppose. I'm probably doing well enough. Okay, a couple governors have uh, leveled up. Getting close to uh, finishing upgrades. Okay. You can upgrade again. You can upgrade again. Not sure exactly what got added, but whatever. Alright, let's see. Enforcers reduce crime. It's not urgently needed. Capital buildings and housing buildings provide plus one housing each. That's a little bit more immediately useful. I feel like. Enemy troops landing. And where? Minok Prime, that is... Oh! Oh, even they just take stuff. Okay, that's not great. Holy cow, they have really gone uh, hog wild up here. I had not noticed that. Yeah, that's not great. On the upside, it'll be uh, pretty easy to take that back. Uh, what are we looking at? Hmm... 
technology discovered. And there's planetary shields. Okay, all we have are repeating tech. What would be the most benefit? Weapon damage, attack speed, or shields? I'm gonna go with the shields right now, I think. Taking less damage would always be useful. Yeah, they've taken all of this stuff. The enemy has seized our colony. Yeah, I gotta get up there. Where does this go? That goes up there. Hmm. Okay, the Blade of the Huntress. After painstakingly combing through the valley of uh, Machvale for any trace of the legendary Huntress, archaeologists were finally able to pinpoint her last resting place. Her fossilized skeleton was found locked in battle with the remains of a large horned arthropoid, and her claws still grasping the hilt of a perfectly preserved sword. This must be the Blade of the Huntress. The weapon is composed of an unknown material and is sharp enough to cut straight through our strongest armor. Artifact found... Blade of the Huntress. Minor artifacts found 30. Curious. Zenek architects have uh, constructed a gateway of their own. In Himpra. That's handy. Okay, I do believe that we now have another register. Uh, passive effects, army morale plus 25%, planet sensor range plus 2, I do not get why you get planet sensor range plus 2, but whatever. Um, and for 150 influence, we get 120 months of plus 25% sublight speed. That's probably going to be worth it for a war. Let's see. Harmonic Isolation, shield damage plus 10%. Armor damage plus 10%. Let's get that. 350 research. Celebrate diversity. That's good. All right. Jabru Societal Shift. Unfortunately, having all my fleets repairing right now and then needing to uh, upgrade them, I mean, repair, uh, upgrade and then needing to uh, reinforce them is going to be rather annoying. I suppose I could re-task... The enemy has made landfall. Sour Prime. That is Kvefaz. Well. Let's go ahead and turn that on. I like, uh... Sublight Speed. It's pretty handy. All right, so this system I could retask. I do have a fleet academy here already. Yeah, I think that we will. I'm getting some protection from these here. So yeah, let's do that. And since I already have the Fleet Academy, we get crew quarters as well. All right, once they're all done, I think I'm going to have to make new fleets out of them. The enemy has seized our colony. Yep. 
And it is cutting into my uh, trade value a bit. Like, everyone's really what, ready to uh, end it. Ships upgraded. Okay. You are... What is going on that you want to upgrade again? The, the fleet management system is really, really buggy, and it causes some serious issues. Uh, gateway reactivated in Usaldon. Okay, that's good. I guess I could afford to reactivate another one. Where would be a good place to reactivate? I've got that. There isn't anything immediately over here. I do have... Uh, some allies going through here. <coughs> oh, pardon me. Uh, this one would be a good one to activate, I think. And let's do this one over here as well. Because we'll get some spread from these stations. That's the closest one over here. Alright, so... Denounce second awakened dot get named, first awakened dot get named. Uh, joining either awakened empire in the war in heaven is considered a breach of galactic law. Damage to awakened empires was 25%. I have proposed that now. I am supporting it. The Foteshans are still way more influential than I am. And we'll see how this goes. Alright, well, for now, we'll go ahead and call it an episode. Um, getting a little frustrated by uh, the slow upgrade speed and everything like that that I got going on. Uh... And the fact that it just, it seems buggy. I mean, not that it seems buggy, that it is buggy. And uh, that I haven't been able to do a whole lot against uh, these guys while they just gobble up stuff. And that this war should have been invalidated. Like, it is just completely ridiculous that it's still in effect. I'm not even sure exactly what these guys wanted, but whatever. When we come back next time, hopefully we can get the war done. Probably not, because it's going to take forever to get my ships and fleets upgraded, but we'll see how it goes. Anyway, see you next time, everyone.